Stasso Mattis segment tonight, last week on his Fox Business Channel program, our pal John addressed equality in America. All animals are equal. Orwell was writing about communism, but the principles apply to America today. Government central planning hurts everyone a little, but rewards people with connections. Outwardly, animal farm appeared prosperous, but the animals themselves were no better off, with the exception of the pigs. The pigs in Animal Farm were the political leaders, and over time, they prospered at the other animals' expense. Their slogan, at least, was more honest than what our politicians say. All right, joining us now from our New York studio, Stossel. So, define your belief so even I can understand it about equality in this country. That we ought to be equal under the law, but otherwise we're not going to be equal. And when government tries to make us equal, it is like the, the George Orwell story. Some, the politically connected, become more equal than others. All right, let's walk through this. What did your father do for a living? He came here as a poor immigrant and worked in a factory and then invented something and eventually owned half the factory. Okay. Um, you didn't have any political connections growing up. Where did you grow up? Outside Chicago, suburbs. All right. So you don't have any political connections, right? Right. All right. So you rose up to be one of the most famous uh, economic reporters, uh, consumer reporters, in the country, right? True. Okay. Now, same thing with me. My father was a low-level accountant. Uh, didn't make a lot of money. No connections anywhere. And look at me, Stossel. I'm more famous and powerful than you. All right? <laughs> so, I think that most Americans are equal in the sense that they have a chance to achieve things that are amazing. Uh, are you going to tell me I'm wrong based upon you and me? No, though we did have two parents. We are white. Maybe that gave us advantages. But no, I, I but think that's, you're that, right. That's not fair, though. That's not fair because some people are born with diseases. Some people get hurt in a car accident. That's just fate. The right. country structure allows you and me and everybody else watching, if we work hard and if we are honest, to achieve tremendous things and, and nobody is denied that pursuit of happiness I don't believe I agree with you Why are you using that Stossel you're wrong tone I, it, what, what matters is if we have income mobility and we still do in America the Pew research shows that most people move out of the kids of most people move out of the income bracket that they're in and 10% they, move from, they, the, from the bottom all the way to the top if they work in the structure that we have. But you seem to be saying that some of the animals are more equal than others if they're members of the political class. And I'm telling you, that I don't know anybody in, in the political class, and they can't touch me. But how about the fact that they forcibly take money from you to give it to people? Well, that's the Constitution gives them the right to tax. Right, but then to give it to the, to the politicians who gave money to Solyndra, the biggest shareholder, was a big Obama no, contributor. No system is perfect. No system is perfect. And you also dealt with nepotism in your, in your special last week, your show last week. Um, again, nepotism, you know, like athletes who, who inherit uh, skills from their parents, there's a lot of athletes whose parents were professional athletes, I, and there's nothing wrong with that. I agree, and nothing wrong with Will Smith putting his own son in his movies because nobody forces us to go to those movies. That's right. So, I mean, parents are going to try to give their children opportunities at every level. Um, some can't, but if I can give my children ed opportunities, I'm going to do it, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But That's just the luck of the draw. What's wrong is when government takes our money by force and gives it to the politically connected. That's evil. Okay, but that's corruption. I don't think that's built into the fabric of this country. When they corruption spend $3 trillion, dollars, they're going to do that. Some of the money's going to their friends. All right. John Stossel, everybody. We